This is a short video about the normalization of data. This bar graph just shows four arbitrary pieces of data. And for example, this may be equal to a thousand, this possibly equal to a hundred. Now, what I want to do with this data is I want to probably read it from a file, get it from um, some source, and I want to be able to plot this, maybe as a bar graph, maybe as a line graph, on a graphic system. So if I take a typical 2D line graph, I might want my point for 1,000 to be over here, and my point for 100 to be over here. Okay, so as far as a graph is concerned, I would have 1,000 here, and around 100 here. It's possibly zero, zero, okay, which is fine. Now, the problem becomes when I want to actually draw this. Essentially, I'll be doing two things. If I'm doing a graph, then my graph will either be as a system of pixels. So I'm going to do an, a graph here. Okay, and... I will either have defined this to be, say, for example, 200 pixels in that direction and possibly 200 in the x direction also. It would make sense if I take my biggest part of this data, which corresponds to the 1000, to be equal to the largest part of my graph. In other words, what we're going to do is we're going to, when we draw this bar graph, we're going to make sure that it fills the whole of the y-axis. And then correspondingly, I will have my 100 value, which is my lowest value here, about here. And this is 200 pixels. Uh, by scaling this down, uh, this means that 200 should be somehow equal to a thousand, which is a reference back to the data over here. So we're just going to analyze this. Okay, so what we need to do then is we need to take the maximum length of our graph Okay, which we know corresponds here to 200 pixels. So we're going to have 200. Okay, I'm going to divide that by the maximum value in my data set, which is 1,000. Okay, that will give me this fraction of one-fifth. Okay, so that will make sense. Now this will mean that uh, if I have a data value of a hundred, uh, then this should be equivalent to 200 pixels in length. Therefore, the only thing I now need to do is to use my normalization factor and then multiply it by the value, which is from this data set here. So, let's see if we can just test this. Okay, just going to test this just made some room uh, we're going to put our value down which was one fifth like so we are then going to take our data set so let's take uh, let's take a thousand which we've got here okay I'm going to multiply that by 1000 and of course that equals 200 which agrees with what we're trying to do, which is represent this data to fill uh, the whole graph that we have here, which is this 200 pixels. We can take our smaller value, which is 100. We're going to take one fifth, multiply that by 100, and that is going to be equal to 20. Okay, so we'd expect this in our graph down here, just going to change the color, to give us a value 
of kind of roughly that's going to appear here, okay, which would correspond to 100, but 20 pixels inside here. Okay. So, and of course, this will work for all the other corresponding data that I've got for these two intermediate values as well. So you can see how it's quite easy to uh, normalize your data to fit within a graph. Now, at the moment, we've been talking about pixels. Of course, this applies uh, exactly the same if you're talking about coordinates uh, of a 2 or 3D system as well. It makes no difference. Uh, the same principle will apply. So, in summary then, how to do this generally. What you first want to do is decide what's how big your graph's going to be, uh, what represents the uh, maximum on your graph, either in pixels or in uh, Cartesian coordinates. Okay, so I'm going to uh, describe this as just as max length, for example. What you then want to do is divide that by your largest value of your data set. Okay, so let's call this one uh, max v for the data set. Okay, this will give you a normalization factor, which we're just going to call nf. And then when you want to calculate uh, how big a line needs to be, whether it's a bar graph, whether it's an arrow, you're, a length of an arrow you're drawing, for example, then all you need to do is multiply your normalization factor by that value. Okay, and this will give you the length of that value in your graph. 